Hey, Gabriella, I've got something to say to you. So you need to read my messages. I went to all the trouble of sending you a wedding invitation, you know, through to your friend. Why do you send a reply back saying that you were going to be absent? And on top of that, you didn't want me knowing where you live currently, so you sent it back to me through the same friend? Like, what the heck? I don't understand that. <laughs> oh, it's you. What do you want from me, Vince? I have a lot of things to do and very little time to message you all day. As my ex-wife, don't you have any intention on congratulating me for starting my life all over again? This is a whole new beginning for me. Are you kidding me right now, Vince? <laughs> you are so thick. You know that, right? Excuse me? I'm thick? Are you saying that I'm an idiot? How dare you? You can't just speak to me like that. What kind of man would invite his ex-wife to his wedding to the woman he cheated on that ex-wife with? Do you really think I'm that dumb to go and celebrate your new beginning? You cheated on me with your soon-to-be new wife, remember? Where is that guy who's doing that, huh? Well, I'm obviously right here, messaging you no less. I thought you were being smug by sending me an invitation. I don't know what you were thinking when you sent it to me. Do you seriously think I would want to attend? If you had any common sense, it's a natural thing to decline an offer like that from an ex. With being invited to something like this, I think it's a reasonable decision to make in terms of not coming to the ceremony. So no, I won't be attending your wedding because I don't want or need to show up there. It would be awkward and all hell would break loose. I'm not taking no for an answer, Gabrielle. You've got no choice in the matter. You need to attend my wedding. That's an order. You're the one who's got to attend no matter what. I'm forcing you to participate. Are you kidding me right now, Vince? You can't just force me to do something I don't want to do. I let you do that too much when we were married to each other. I'm not going to let you now. No way. Listen to me, Gabriella. This marriage, it's something you need to witness. My happiness awaits me as I stumbled over all over the obstacles that I had with you. I'll show you the cause of all of our unhappiness and where we went so wrong. Also, I'm going to force you to bless my new marriage because that's something you should do. The purpose for it is that so I can be done with you and actually be happy with somebody I love. I'm not interfering with anything that you're organizing. I don't want to be that sort of ex-wife at all. I've never been involved with you since our divorce and you just keep bugging me and it's getting to the point that I'm so sick of it. Then why would you ask for compensation in one lump sum if you didn't want anything to do with me? Don't you realize how much I suffered because of you asking for that? All you wanted was my money that I earned from hard work. At least I had my beloved Annie who was able to earn a lot of money while she was still a college student. If it wasn't for her, I'd be in debt for the rest of my life. I was able to go somehow from being in my overdraft and in negative funds to zero, all because you stole all that money from me. It took me three whole years to overcome the debt I was left in. Then one day, we found that Annie was pregnant. So now we have to have a wedding and be married for the baby. Oh, for goodness sake, Vince. Are you actually stupid or something? Do you not understand why you had to pay me all that money? What did you just call me? That's the second time you've called me stupid in this conversation we're having. I'm not stupid. I'm just simply saying what you've done to me. What I've done to you? <laughs> you're so thick. I was entitled to that money because of the affair you had with that woman you're marrying. I was simply claiming my right to that money as someone who had been cheated on by her husband and been completely betrayed. Don't turn yourself into the victim when you're the perpetrator. You can't just say those sort of things to me when I complied to what you wanted. Don't you dare insult Annie in front of me. Our love for each other is sacred and can never be broken by the likes of you. Besides, the reason why we got divorced in the first place is because of your infertility. It's your fault you couldn't bear my children. Even though I wanted to have a child so badly, I couldn't because your body doesn't work properly. Annie came and helped heal my pain. Oh my god, you really are so thick, Vince. And don't say my body doesn't work properly when it does. Why are you calling me thick? You're so rude and disrespectful. You're supposed to respect me as your ex-husband. I did you a favor by divorcing you. The infertility tests weren't so accurate back then, and the doctors never gave a definitive answer to whether I was infertile or not. We had been married for three years, Gabriella. And during that entire time we were married, you never got pregnant or gave birth. 
Either way, even though your wedding is coming up, there are other circumstances that are preventing me from attending. Oh yeah? Like what? What are these circumstances that make it so you can't attend my wedding? I bet you're just lying so you don't have to go. I don't want to tell you why, so I'm just not going to say anything more. As being your ex-wife, I think that's a reason in itself to not go to your wedding. I, I, I have things to do, so I'm going to stop messaging now. This is not good enough. If you can't tell me the reason as to why you can't make it, then you've got no choice but to attend my wedding to my true love. You're my ex-wife, so I need you to attend. No matter what anyone says, you have to fulfill your duty and be there for me. You need to see how happy we both are. You've got no choice. And that's an order from your ex-husband. You're definitely coming to this wedding. I'll prepare a seat for you right up front. I don't get why you're messing me around so much, Gabriella. It's starting to really annoy me. What you're doing to me just keeps going on and on and on and it never ends. But you decided to come after all. <laughs> after all, you couldn't help but worry about the wedding we were having, could you? Did you think I was going to regret doing this? <laughs> well, I told you earlier that I wouldn't. You know, Gabriella, you don't exist to me right now. <laughs> Like, for real. You just don't right now because my happiness comes first. <laughs> oh, but what's this look for? Seriously. Oh my god, I can't believe what you look like. Even though we've only been divorced for three years, you're ten times the size you were then. Yikes. You've got so round. <laughs> Vince, what are you even talking about right now? What look are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't play games with me right now. Don't you recognize yourself as the sad, fat, and single woman that attended my wedding? <laughs> oh, what? Is that what you're talking about? Your wedding? Is it today? I completely forgot that today is the day you're getting married. What are you even saying? We literally just passed each other in the venue. <laughs> I'm so confused, huh? I'm at the wedding venue. How am I there? Oh my god, stop playing stupid tricks on me. I literally just saw you and you walked, or should I say waddled, past me. <laughs> I noticed you coming towards me, and I said, wow, after three years you put on a few pounds. You're a fat single woman now, and I laughed. You had such a frightening look on your face. Why is that? <laughs> The way that you walked and I instantly thought you were making a thudding sound effect? <laughs> um, I think you've got me mixed up with the wrong person, no? I definitely don't. I'm sure of it. It was hardly an inch away from you. I know what you look like. <laughs> there was no mistake made. I already replied to your invitation saying that I wasn't going to attend. I don't know how many times I have to say that. But you obviously changed your mind because we walked right past each other. I really don't get what you're on about, Vince. It, it makes no sense. It is so exhausting trying to get anything through to your brain with that thick skull of yours. You're completely away with the fairies. I guess that can't be helped if you don't understand what's actually going on. What the heck are you on about now, Gabriella? Trying to pretend that you're not bad or something? <laughs> well, no. If you actually read what I'm about to tell you, then you'll realize I'm not at the wedding. I'm not at the wedding because I'm heavily pregnant at the moment. Ha ha. I'm sorry. What? You're actually pregnant? I can see that I have to put it into words that you'll understand. This month, I'm in my ninth month of pregnancy and could go into labor at any time. So that's why I've not attended your wedding today. Are you kidding me with this? And you say I'm stupid. You're the stupid one for saying that you're pregnant when you're really infertile. I would think clearly about what you say next before spitting out any more lies. But it's true though? I'm pregnant and could give birth at any time during this month? No, 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 this can't be true. <laughs> if you're saying that you're pregnant right now, does that mean that you're not infertile? So either you got yourself knocked up from a one night stand or you've gotten remarried? You're almost on the right track. I got remarried. That's why I'm about to give birth to my child soon. This can't be happening right now. Are you serious? 
I've completely exposed you. <laughs> so you were lying. So we did walk past each other. Oh my god, this conversation is literally going around in circles. It's so frustrating. We, we just need to hold off on this conversation just a minute. What do you mean? What's going on here? So I'm just with my father right now, and he told me that the person that you might have seen was my aunt. What are you talking about? Uh, about the conversation we were just having before? About you walking past some woman? It wasn't me. My father has a younger sister who's quite a bit younger than him in age. Because she's so free-spirited, she longed to live right in the city, so she left her parents' house at the age of 18. Since then, she's only been in contact with us once every few years. So, what are you trying to say to me right now? Uh, the last time we got in contact with her was three months ago. She got some sort of notification that she was to be married to the heir of a large company. When she met up with my father for the first time in more than ten years, he couldn't believe how much she looked like me. I've got no idea what you're getting at. I'm so confused by what you're saying. This isn't funny, Gabriella. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to explain something. She said that she got pregnant about a month after I did, so I guess she's eight months along. She couldn't quite believe that she was pregnant with twins, but it explains why she has a big stomach right now. <laughs> now, just hang on a minute. What company does your aunt's partner work for that makes him the heir of the company? Well, he works for Smith & Company. Smith & Company? Are you sure about that? Uh, yes. What? Is there something on your mind, Vince? Bride's guest is the most important customer of that company, and that would be my new father-in-law. Since the company's president is undergoing medical treatment, the managing director seems to be inviting the heirs of the company. Is this really true? There's no way this is happening, right? Well, my father just contacted my aunt to confirm that it is in fact true, so I don't know what to tell you, Vince. She also told my father that when she got to the wedding of a daughter who belongs to a business partner, a man she didn't know insulted her and called her fat. She sounded pretty angry. And she's just discovered that the man was in fact... The groom. This has got to be some kind of sick joke, right? I mean, it was just a joke that I told her. Don't you think that you're on the verge of causing a massive uproar, Vince? This is all your fault. Because of you, my wedding ceremony was canceled. You've had a few days to think about what you've done, and now you go and blame things you did on me? But why would someone that looks like you show up to my wedding? I don't think you can decide the shape of the face that you're born with. Of course you go and say crap like that. Don't be so rude to me. Says the person who is ignorant to the bad things they've said to multiple people. Don't say crap to me like that. I'm not ignorant. Hmm. Well, come to think of it, your marriage to Annie hasn't ended yet, has it? Well... Annie is a beautiful crystal that holds so much love for me, so she wouldn't leave me ever. But be honest, because of this whole commotion, the cheating that I had kept a secret from your father somehow got back to him. I heard that your mother-in-law, who is protecting the unfaithful couple, is actually separated. And I heard that you've been forced to resign from your father-in-law's company. And that you were both disowned from your families and Annie was forced to drop out of university as well? Such a shame. How do you know all about those things? Are you spying on me or something? Well, my aunt was the one who got insulted by you, and you were the one who mistook her for me. It turns out that she found out that you were my ex-husband. You know that the information's going to come pouring in now, right? I've also heard that she's going to sue you and request compensation for what you said to her. Mm, what you did was harassment, Vince. <sighs> this can't be happening to me right now. All of this is crap. Everything is falling apart, and it's all because you didn't come to my wedding ceremony. If you just showed up like you were supposed to, I wouldn't be in this situation. But I told you that I was never going to attend. This is all on you, Vince. Not me. There's no way all this crap is happening to me. This is unbelievable. What are you talking about, Vince? Annie's child. She admitted the child isn't mine. What do you mean it isn't yours? She gave birth to a mixed-race child. 
I couldn't believe it when it came out of her. It looked nothing like me. But you seem to have unique facial features. So I'm surprised it doesn't look like you. It's hair, eyes, and everything else looks entirely different. Have you actually checked properly that the child isn't yours? Don't be stupid, of course I have. It's not my baby. Hey, I guess you can cut the crap that you've been saying to me for years then. What are you on about? What have I ever said to you? Look, why are you even talking to me? I don't understand why you're always contacting me. No matter when you talk to me, you always accuse me of something or throw a tantrum. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. I, I don't have enough information on this type of thing, so I can't be held responsible to the kind of advice I'm going to give you. You need to consult an obstetrician or a gynecologist or something. Just think for yourself for once in your life. But that means that I'm the one with the problem. Now I'm the one who's in trouble right now. Do you think I care about who you're in trouble for? I want no involvement in this. Well, it would be nice if you could just show me a little bit of concern. I'd do that for you. I've only just given birth to my child, and I need to concentrate on raising my baby. I don't need your problems in my life. But Gabriella, I thought we were friends. I just found out something terrible. I'm actually infertile. I can't have kids. What did you just say? I went to the hospital that Annie gave birth in, and we took a DNA test of the baby and I, and it came back that I wasn't the father. Oh, is that right? So you're not the father then? But she told me that she's got no idea who the father is. How can that be possible? She wanted to have a wedding as soon as possible, so I was trying to get money for it. Then she confessed that they were multiple fathers of the child. She was earning money off multiple men. She lied to me. The real father is probably one of those men she mentioned. Oh wow, that's quite a crazy turn to your situation now, isn't it? And I wished for such a woman and she goes and betrays me. And she's divorced me as well. Well, ain't that a shame. Anyways, I wanted to talk to you. Gabriella, why don't we raise a child you gave birth to together? Wouldn't that be great? To do that, can you tell me where you're living now, please? I'm currently living in an apartment that's in Annie's name. I'll have to leave soon. So please, let me know where you're living. Please? Oh my god, don't be so ridiculous. You're so stupid, Vince. What do you mean? I'm not being ridiculous. You're not to come anywhere near me. I told you so many times that I want nothing to do with you. Goodbye, and, and, and honestly, good riddance. What the heck, Gabriella? Don't say that to me. Please, just hear me out. We can get married again so you're not a single mother to the child. It would work both ways. Don't leave me here to suffer. Gabriella, please talk to me. Don't leave me again. I've got no clue where the single mother interpretation came from. It's beyond ridiculous. A few days later, a friend gave him a hotel room number. According to his friends, he's currently unemployed and can't rent an apartment. It seems like he really wants me to do something about his uncertain future. <laughs> no way. <laughs> his friend stopped being the messenger between the two of us. He asked his friend to say that he told me that he could remarry him, and that was the final straw. I shouted down the phone and told him to back off. After that, he seemed to be up to his shoulders in debt as he had to pay money to my aunt for his harassment. He also had to pay for the wedding that never happened. <laughs> the last thing I heard of him is that his things were taken away by a debt collector. <laughs> his whereabouts are unknown. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this.